Soulmate is someone who has locks that fit our keys and keys that fit our locks. We feel safe enough to open the locks, our truest selves step out. We can be completely and honestly who we are. Can we love for who we are and not who we're pretending to be? Each unveils the best part of the other. No matter what else goes wrong around us, with that one person, we're safe in our own paradise. Our soulmate is someone who shares our deepest longings, our sense of direction. When we're two balloons and the together our direction is up, chances are we found the right person. Our soulmate is one who makes life come to life. <laughs> Hi. You look beautiful. That is awesome. Hi. Matt and Missy, this moment is the anchor that holds your past and your future together. This afternoon, you are beginning a journey that will last the rest of your lives. And like any journey, there will be amazing experiences on mountaintops today, hopefully being one such experience. Sometimes you will walk through valleys and have trouble finding your way. No matter where you go, no matter how long the journey is or how difficult, the person beside you will make your journey worthwhile. No other human ties are more tender and certainly none are more special than those you share with each other right now. Your wedding vows are the pledges that bind you together, and these promises you are about to make before God and these witnesses are promises you intend to keep. Today, take this marriage as the beginning of your lives together it's a continuation of a journey, but also the start of something entirely brand new. May you be fulfilled by each other's love and friendship. May you be overjoyed by the promises you're about to make and the life together you will create. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Missy, you are my best friend, the one person I can turn to in any moment, no matter the scenario. You're a little scary sometimes. You know that. Brilliant, but scary. I knew I'd fall in love with you soon after we started dating. I would spend my weeks away for work, and I would only get to see you for a day or two at a time. I would spend my work week counting down the minutes until I would get to see you again. I knew this wouldn't be sustainable, getting to see you so little. That's when we talked and made the decision to move in together. And that was the best decision I ever made. I vow to always be your hand to hold, your shoulder to cry on, and be the light in your darkness. I vow to try to be as quiet as possible while watching football every Sunday so I don't interrupt your naps. And I vow to always take you out for a fruity beer after every time we go for a hike. I know I have the emotional range of a teaspoon, but I will always be there for you no matter what. And I will never forget that you were the one who got me, of all people, to say and mean, go birds. Go birds, baby. I knew you were gonna say that the same time. Matthew, I can't believe this day has finally come after a long two years of planning. I'm so incredibly happy to be standing here with you today. Thank you for showing me unconditional love the past five and a half years. I love our life together with our fur babies, <laughs> and I wouldn't change a thing. Thank you for always making me laugh and for showing me what a life of happiness and laughter looks like. I love how you can pull me back to center when I'm stressy and depressy, and that you are my guiding light on the darkest days. As we start our life as a married couple, I promise to always put my cold feet on you in the winter to warm up. I promise to always send you cute pictures of dogs and ask if we can adopt them. I promise to always help you make dinner, but I can't promise I won't spill anything. <laughs> I promise to go somewhere new with you every single year and continue to adventure with you as much as we possibly can. As we stand here today, I've never been so sure that you're the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. I love you with every part of me, and I'm yours forever and always. Crushed it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Matt, will you take Missy to be your wife? Do you commit yourself to her happiness and self-fulfillment as a person? Do you promise to love, honor, and trust her in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to her so as long as you both shall live? I do. And Missy, will you take Matthew to be your husband? Do you commit yourself to his happiness and self-fulfillment as a person? Do you promise to love, honor, and trust him in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, to be true and loyal to him, so as long as you both shall live? I do. Thank you. It gives me great pleasure to give this final declaration of marriage. Matthew and Missy, by the love that has brought you here today, the integrity of your commitment and your vows witness here on this amazing October 21st, 2022, it is my privilege and honor by the power vested in me in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Matt, you may kiss your bride. the years but for those that don't know me I'm Jesse Missy's maid of honor and best friend Missy you truly are a special individual you're beautiful you're kind you're supportive you're caring you're giving you're hardworking you're dependable and you're loving these are just some of the traits that I've found in you since the beginning of our friendship 15 years ago these also are traits that I know the man sitting next to you has acknowledged as well Matt I knew from years ago that you would be a part of Missy's life we would sit there and have our usual girl talks about life, and your name just so happened to usually come up in conversation over and over again. After meeting you, I could tell that you were the perfect balance between calm, awkward, fun, and understanding that Missy's stressy, depressy, hot mess express moments needed. <laughs> Matt, I couldn't have found a better man to share my best friend with. It's reassuring to know that you love her almost as much as I do. I wish you both years of a happy, healthy marriage filled with lots of love, laughter, and let's be honest, dogs. There was a couple things that kept me and Matt together. Two big things were football and wing night. And uh, one fateful night, Matt texted me and he canceled wing night. Over a girl. Well, after a little bit, then I finally met Missy. And uh, she was super kind, super sweet. I don't know what happened since then. But no, Missy, Missy is someone, she has a huge heart. She loves deeply. But she's also a hard ass, which is kind of what Matt needs. I watched them grow as a couple. It was interesting to watch them go through their talking stage, and then their dating stage, and then moving in together. So, uh, for those who I haven't met, um, I am Mia Karalfi. I'm Missy's sister-in-law. Um, everyone who knows Missy knows how strong-willed and independent she is. Um, and, and most of us like to tease her about the outrageous level of sass that comes along with that independence. But at the end of the day, um, Missy is one of the most admirable quality. She stands up for herself and for others and she refuses to stay silent when she or her loved ones have been wronged. When I met Missy five years ago, five, six, whatever it is, she was already dating Matt. So to me, Missy and Matt, they're a unit. And when I first met Matt, he's like Shrek, you know? And it was over many conversations about our careers and our interests and how to play fantasy football and Harry Potter and uh, maybe even 
politics that I started to uncover how wonderful Matt really is and how well he and Missy complement one another. They are the perfect concert buddies, tailgaters and hiking buddies. And most importantly, they are two of the very most important people in me and my husband, David's lives. I am, I'm crying. I'm, I'm very, very grateful to have Missy as my sister-in-law. I wish you a lifetime full of sour and fruity beers to sample no matter where you go. I wish you a lifetime of couches absolutely covered in dog and cat fur. I wish you as many hikes through the mountains as humanly possible, tons of sunny beach days and cozy game nights, and most importantly, I wish you a long, healthy, happy life as husband and wife. So, Matthew and I would like to just thank everyone for coming, and we appreciate you all being here tonight. But I just wanted to thank all of you. We appreciate all of you being here. We appreciate our parents because none of this would happen with the of them. And we hope to see every single one of you out on dance floor. And if you are not, I will force you. So <laughs> do it voluntarily, please. Okay. <laughs>